Hi everyone. All right, you've got your cucumber trellis built. Your cucumbers are planted. They're absolutely taking off. They're taking over that trellis. What do you do? Let's talk pruning cucumber plants. Let's quickly talk about the components of the cucumber plant before we get into the actual pruning. I'll put up a picture so it's easier to refer to and if you need more information click the link down below for my website and there'll be additional information there. On a cucumber plant there's your main stem. Coming up your main stem you have nodes and a node is where all of the growth happens and they're going to happen all the way up this main stem. At each node you're going to have a sun leaf come out. You're going to have a tendril come out that's gonna help the plant climb up the trellis. You're going to have male and female flower come out. And you're also going to have a sucker come out of that main branch. And the sucker is just like on a tomato plant, on an indeterminate tomato plant. The sucker on the cucumber plant will become its own main branch with its own nodes and all the components of that node. And from that, there will be more sucker branches and more nodes and more sucker branches. And the result is they can quickly take over a trellis. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It's a good thing. Uh, but too much of this growth reduces airflow through the plant, susceptible to mildew issues. Um, also a little bit more difficult for the pollinators to get in there and pollinate it shades out some of the leaves so some of your leaves on the inside are going to die off anyway they're not going to be doing anything for your plant or the growth so it's a good idea to prune these plants keep them tidy um, and that will allow more light more life into the plant and then more fruit more cucumbers for you so let's get right into this i am first i've got one here that is ready to go. My first step when I prune my cucumber plants is to start from the bottom and I clean up everything from the bottom about four nodes up. Um, just being careful not to cut the main, the main stem of the plant, of course. Um, and I, any leaves, everything on the bottom, everything, I just, take right off. Some dead leaf here. Step two, any leaves that are dying, that have a little mold on them, that are shaded out and that are not getting enough sunlight to feed the plant, I prune them off. The only tip I give here, I would give here is cut four or five leaves off, step back, take a look at your plant, and then come back and do that again. There's a tendency, at least for me, when I'm pruning my cucumber plants to go crazy. And what that could look like when you're done is basically a naked plant um, where I've really trimmed off too much. And what I found is if I take a step back, take a look at it after every four or five leaves, this prevents me from, from going crazy with my pruning. So we'll be right back after I finish this step. Wow, so much life on these cucumber plants. I have some pests. I saw some cucumber beetles, but I also saw five ladybugs and a praying mantis. And I got a picture of it and I will put the picture up right there. I think this is just amazing to see so much life in the plant. Ladybugs will eat the eggs from the cucumber beetle. And in this particular cucumber trellis, I've seen five or six just this morning. I went over to look at my other cucumber trellis and I didn't see any, but I did see cucumber beetles. So I think I'll try to transfer some from this plant over to that plant. Um, that's just amazing. And the praying mantis, that is so awesome. Uh, 
All right, so next step in the pruning, what I do is I prune off the suckers. And I'm gonna bring you in close to show you how I do this. A lot like the video that I did for pruning the zucchini plants, when you prune the leaves of the cucumber plant and when you prune the suckers off the cucumber plant, you wanna come all the way back to that main stem and prune them off as close as you can to that main stem. Let me bring you in close and I'll show you how I prune off a sucker. Okay, take two, since I didn't have the, the microphone connected. Here is a sucker coming out of the plant. And you can see on the sucker at each node, it has the same biology, tendril coming out, fan leaf coming out, your male and female flowers, and also there'll be another sucker growing out of this, out of this node. If we follow this all the way back to the main stem, we're gonna cut it off right where it meets the main stem of the plant. Just like that. I actually took off a lot, a lot of material and I could still probably take some off up here in this back right corner if I wanted to. I just find less is better, a little bit at a time. I can always come out tomorrow and have a look at the plant, have a look at my fruits, see how things are going, and I can clip more off if I like it. So just to summarize, start from the bottom, clean up everything from the ground up about four nodes. Clip off any dead or dying leaves. Um, if you see any signs of powdery mildew, and I think I said mold in the beginning, but I meant powdery mildew. Don't worry too much about it. Clip those leaves off. Um, clip them off right where they meet the main stem and the plant will be fine. Next step, any suckers that are getting out of control, um, your plant's too condensed in the center, go ahead and clip those suckers off right where they meet the, the main branch of the plant. The last step I do is, as part of the pruning process, every four or five cuts, I take a step back from the plant or a few step back from the plant, I bella. And I see what I've cut off. I see what the plant looks like. If I think I've cut too much off, I just stop there and I'll come back a few days later and, and see where it is. If you haven't seen the video on how to build this cucumber trellis, I'll leave a link in the end card. Uh, they work great and I've been using the same design for four years now and very, very happy with it. You camera shy today? Thank you for watching the video. If it helped you in any way, please hit the, the thumbs up button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. We'd love to have you on the channel and please share the video. Next week, I'm working on a video for how I attract hummingbirds into my garden. So looking forward to sharing that one next week. And I hope you ring that bell after you subscribe so that you'll be notified when that video is ready and released. Good luck with your cucumbers this year.